This is for all of you out there. Today, I'm going to take you step by step and explain how to register your own no KYC SALT card visa. So, let's start. First thing, let's head over to the SALT card website, www.saltcard.cc. Once you're there, we want to create an account. When creating account, you can use any first and last names. The important thing is to use a valid email. Any email will do as long as you have access to it. Another important fact to know is, whichever name you pick, that will be the name printed on your visa card. Pick wisely. Okay, what am I going to pick? Let's see. My name will be Elmer Fudd. I like the Looney Tunes, I guess. Just under the name, we need to paste our valid email address. Then hit the sign in with email button. The next thing we're going to see is a place to write a six-figure code to verify your email. Head over to the email you just used. You will receive your verification code sent there. Insert the code into the box and hit the verify email button. After that, we're in. A pop-up will appear immediately, encouraging you to create your Apple Pay Visa card, but let's wait and check out the web app first. You will get a greeting with your selected name appear. There are three main buttons on top, my wallet, RevShare, and referral. But first, let's make our first deposit. Because it is our first deposit, we must create our Visa card first. Later on, this step will not be necessary, and we will use the deposit button in our dashboard. You will notice that we have a place to use a referral code. This code will give you 40 percent off the card creation fee. That's only $24 instead of 40. So let's not miss on that. You can use the code RAMBO. It's easy to remember and it's an awesome movie too. All right. After you write Rambo and hit the apply button, you will see that the fees change from $40 to 24 and the message at the bottom now says that we are enjoying the discount. We're gonna hit the next button. Now, this next part is a very important part to understand because you are going to use address and phone number from the United States only. These cards do work worldwide, but the info you enter on this page needs to be from the United States. How do we get a United States address, you ask? Let's head over to Google Maps. Open the United States map and pick any place your heart desire. New York, Florida. Let's head over to Los Angeles for this tutorial. Let's zoom into the map and randomly find a business we could use. You can pick randomly or intentionally. It's up to you. Feel free to be creative. When you find a business, click on it. You will see the address and the phone number popping up. Remember, nobody is going to call this number. It's for registration purposes only. The verification will be through your email. Let's jump back to our registration page and fill in the details. We will write our name again, Elmer Fudd. Pick any date for your birthday. Let's do this. Make sure the United States is picked unless you prefer Hong Kong. Pick the city. In our case, it is Los Angeles. And paste the address you copied from Google Maps. At this point, you will see the address appear here at the bottom. Let's click it. In this new address window, we have a chance to tweak and fix any errors. As you can see in my case, the zip code is not in the correct format, and I can adjust it. Make sure your address is correct and hit the Save button. For the phone number, I find it's best to enter it manually. 
it prevents any formatting issues. After that, all that's left is to paste our valid email and hit next. Our last step is to send funds in. We can do that with Solana and other tokens as you can see in this drop-down menu. We can play around and see which token is best for us. Currently, there are four options and when you click the plus button, you will be able to see the minimum amount acceptable for deposit. I'm going to use Solana. I will need to send a minimum of 0.43 Solana to load up. You can see all the fees break down as well. And don't forget to read the card usage rules. Those are important. When we decided what amount we want to load our card with, let's hit the next button. In this final window, we need to either copy the wallet address or use the QR code and send the exact amount showing. Whatever the amount is, that's what we send. It only takes a matter of seconds and we will see our card being loaded. When it's ready, you will see a confetti popping at the top of the screen and we can hit the view your Sol card button. We did it. Now we can see our full dashboard. The card number is blurred and in order to see it fully, we need to hit this eye icon up here. Your three digit CVV code will be visible above the card holder's name as well. Right next to the I button, you can see the billing button. When you click it, you will see your billing address. In our case, it's the same address we just picked in Los Angeles. You can see your card balance on the top right. The cardholder name and any transactions we will have will be showing here in this dashboard. Hit the referrals button if you want to generate your own code. Here you can pick a code and create your own unique link to invite your friends and followers. I'll use Elmer. Hit save and your link will be quickly ready. Heading over the My Wallet will reveal all of your available card slots. You can create up to 10 different cards. I'll let you guys play around and explore the dashboard for yourselves. In the last part of the video, I will explain how to add the Sol card into your Apple Wallet. If you are using Google Wallet, similar steps apply. Just follow the same rules. Okay, let's head over to the Apple Wallet. When you open it, you will find the plus icon at the top right. Hit it to add a new card into the wallet. Pick the add debit or credit card option. Follow the steps. You can either enter the card number manually, or if you're using the Sol card dashboard on a computer, scan the card with the camera. The video is secured, but the Apple wallet will prompt you to confirm the correct card number the correct card name, in my case, good old Elmer, the expiry date, and its three digits. When you're finished and upon agreeing to their terms and conditions, the card will be added into your wallet. Your final step will be to verify your card for Apple or Google Pay. Change the verification type from a text message to email verification and hit next. Now head over to your email and grab the verification code. This may take a few seconds to arrive, but when you receive it, hit the enter code button and enter the code That's it. The long journey is behind you. You can now see that your card is added and verified in the wallet. You are ready to go out and tap as you please. I hope this video was helpful. Enjoy your Sol card, everybody. And don't forget, Rambo.